Hey, what's up, guys? A new no skill elixir golem strategy has slimed its way up to rank 9 in the world. As Clash Royale evolved with two evolution slots, the game devolved to let skillless spam like this deck dominate. When you focus on spamming bats and skeletons with the cheap elixir cycle, you're going to get huge positive elixir trades with the evolutions. And when you add the elixir collector, you have three sources of out elixirine opponents. Play this deck passively, cycle your evolutions and skeleton kings, and go in for skeleton king abilities if your opponent overcommits. You're often able to do drastic damage with skeleton king rage pushes, and they're not near as risky as going in for an elixir. Golem. But when you're up enough elixir and find an opportunity, go in for the elixir golem in the back. Set up a Night Witch behind the elixir golem, go Skeleton King other side and split up your evolved skeletons. When the opponents spam their spells from the skeletons and Night Witch, you have free reign to go in for the bats and race them up. Or click the Skeleton King ability and cover the map in skeletons. I struggle to defend this deck and pros hate playing against it. If you don't have evolved skeletons or bats, you can use the regular versions or a Goblin Gang instead. If you only have one evolution, evolved skeletons are the best one to use. It's time to channel our purple power, evolve our skillless spam and assert dominance. And lots of love to everyone supporting the channel with critic code SIRTAG. This guy's got a ton of numbers in his name and it's making me feel like I gotta decode the name. And I, I'm not about that level of work. We wanna just cruise through all the games today without thinking, especially reading someone's name. Like what the heck? Anyway, we're gonna go and throw some bugs in his code right here. And we're gonna throw bats and skeleton king. And I don't wanna click the ability, but I do at the same time. Yeah, I, I clicked the ability and I get refunded my elixir, so that's good. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't click the ability and got it off in time because then I went to that elixir to defend against this balloon. If I rage, it won't get as much damage as it typically would. It should die with one shot. Let's go! <laughs> that was inches away from a second hit. So we're securing down the defense and we're vibing. If I go in for a Skeleton King in the back, I'm able to build up a big push. And since our opponent's running balloon, there's a high chance that he's going to try to miner on our elixir collector. But since we dropped in the middle, he's obviously good enough to realize that we can decipher the pathway of the miner, and it would probably get caught by a Night Witch, Skeleton King, or a Skeleton. So, worst players would give you a huge positive elixir trade. This guy is not that bad. We're going to try to go in for our bats here, and unfortunately, a lot of them get swiped down by the arrows. Very good player. Like, everything that he's done so far has put us in a position that made me slightly uncomfortable. You know what? I think we can go in for a Night Witch and pull the Inferno Dragon and the Lumberjack the other side. And then use the bats to hopefully feel a decent defense here. I, I don't know. I am feeling not so good about that anymore. <laughs> it looked good for a second. But now I know he's got a lot of elixir. I, you know what? It doesn't even matter though. It doesn't matter how much elixir he's got. Because we got the elixir collector fueling our elixir advantage. We have two evolutions that are definitely going to give us positive elixir trades. I think we're set up for success. It might seem stupid that we were able to do this, but I think I can. I'm gonna go Night Witch, I'm gonna spawn that behind our Elixir Golem, and I'm gonna go for Bats on the left-hand side, I think. But I want him to Arrows, I really want him to Arrows, nice. But then we can go Evo Bats and just be a massive menace. That is the strategy. You try to go for the Bats after they go in for their spells. Wait, dude, you're not able to deal with evolutions right now. <laughs> There's no shot. Look at the Elixir Golem in the right. What's happening right now? How do I have this abundance of crap on the map? This should be illegal! Clash Trial, you gotta ban this deck. I shouldn't be able to take the tower with the Elixir Golem unsupported in the right. That just doesn't feel like a fair fight at all. How am I doing so much damage? Someone make it make sense. I shouldn't be able to complain about winning a game, but this does feel illegal. The guy had multiple small spells, and he ended up with two Elixir Golems at full health on his three crown, with abundance of skeletons and bats completely swarming him. He got overwhelmed and eaten alive. After annihilating a pretty good balloon player, our skeletons have spawned us up to 2,000 in the world. Hey yo, this guy finished 266 in the world. What's up, Smurf Blade? He's actually one of my friends, and I feel a little bit bad that I'm playing as one of my friends using this deck. So he doesn't know what I'm playing yet, obviously, <laughs> but he's gonna find out. I'm going to go in for our bats and I'm going to Skeleton King. The cool thing about this is even if my bats die, I still get value. And I think he's probably playing P.E.K.K.A. Usually he plays a P.E.K.K.A. deck. I want to go for Elixir Collector in the middle most of the time. Uh, just to guarantee that we don't get finessed by a random miner. But yeah, he's running P.E.K.K.A. We're fine. We're chilling. We can click the ability as well to guarantee that we're able to finish off all of his stuff at the river. I don't think that the knight survives and I, I'm pretty sure that we're in a good spot. Yo, he spent a lot of elixir there. If we go for a skeleton and bats, we might just be able to make a huge push with the skeleton king afterward. Yep, he went for arrows. He doesn't kill the night witch. And we have a monster of a menace on our hands. We're going to go arrows and click the ability because it's going to be hard for him to stop the night witch. And uh, coupled with the skeleton king, 
we could rage this up. Sometimes you don't even have to go in for aggressive plays with a Elixir Collector and then Elixir Golem. You can just use your Skeleton King with the abundance of bait cards that you have in the deck to take a tower. I mean, this guy is one of the best players in the world, and he already lost his tower in a minute. I think that we're going to be in it to win it as long as we can defend one push. And his push is rolling right now. So we're going to go for a Skeleton King, and we're also going to go Skeletons. Actually, never mind. <laughs> his P.E.K.K.A. push is starting now. <laughs> Took a little bit longer, but... You know, he, he's making it happen. He's making it happen. The cool thing that we have here is we can Night Witch in the back and we don't have to Elixir Golem. If you've taken a tower, you can play a bit more defensive instead of all in perpetually. Also, I want to go in for our bats directly on top and then Rage so the bats start to heal up so that he can't zap them away. The issue for him is he has to fire a ball on that. And then he has to go for a zap on the skeletons. Or I guess he's going to use arrows. Dang. Wait, can I snag a second tower? I'm sorry, Smurf Blade. We have to do this to you. It has to be done. We are an Elixir Golem player for a reason, my guy. I can Rage to kill the Archers, and I don't think that's ideal because, obviously, we want to be able to Rage up our Elixir Golem, but it is what it is. If I pop the ability here, then we will be able to kill the Electro Wizard. Wait, I'm in a pretty bad spot. But we can play the funnest game of passing the P.E.K.K.A. If you guys are unaware, it's a, it's, it's a good experience. So we're going to Arrows here. We're going to go for our Skeleton King afterwards, so the Barbarians lock onto that. Then we can go in for Skellies here, and then we can go for Bats so the P.E.K.K.A. doesn't take our tower. So I think we're chilling as long as we get a rage down so then our tower is able to finish off the night. And he goes ghost, but we're able to body block it with an elixir golem. So we walk away with a win against one of the best P.E.K.K.A. players in the world. And I feel a little bit dirty. I'm sorry. Hopefully I didn't lose a friend here. It's time to peel onto the next game and peace out in this one. Taking a tower in a minute, even against top 200 players, is par for the course with Elixir Golem. Hey, we got a game against another top 300 player. And his first play is to drop a freaking rail giant at the river. I mean, I get our deck is skillless, but you don't have to be skillless too, man. You're also top 300, so I thought you would be playing better than that. Anyway, he's going to be down a lot of Elixir, and we're running Elixir Golem, so I think he's dead. I don't think you can get away with that. There's no way that you can rail giant at the river into a deck like ours. <laughs> we're going to eat you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Are you even eating, though? I don't think so, man. <laughs> you're just going to eat a ton of damage instead, and now you're dead. Oh my goodness. We are speed running wins out here because our opponents don't necessarily always understand that they can't do that. So we took his tower and I definitely will collect his soul in a few seconds as soon as I get one more push. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he's just dead. I don't think you can do that. He decided to go all in and do a lot of damage to my tower, but now he has to defend against Evo Skeletons and he has no answer to them. So sir, you successfully earned a three crown. <laughs> We're going to go Evo Bats on top of the Skeletons, so we are destined to topple his tower. There's just so much crap coming at him, and even with Archers, if we rage this up, I mean, there's a lot, man. There's Skeletons swarming your Skeletons. We got Skeletons for days, and sir, you are slain. So, obviously, if you try to overcommit into Elixir Golem, it is a recipe for disaster, my dude. Even if you have some of the most defensive bailout cards in the game, like Mega Knight, Skeleton Army, and Mini P.E.K.K.A., and you're a top 300 player in Clash Royale, you're still gonna get stomped. After obliterating that Royal Giant at the River Menace, we've pushed up to 1,600 in the world. All right, we got a game against Mr. Ash. It's time to catch him off guard. So you already know, he's not ready for our Pokemon to be thrown down. If I go for the Skeleton King, we're gonna collect all of his souls and then unleash an army at him. So generally, if we see Valkyrie, it's not going to be good for us to go in for an Elixir Golem at the start because we don't know if he's going to end up having a Bomb Tower in the deck as well. I'm going to Arrows here to do a bit more damage to the Valkyrie. I could have Raged as well on the Skeleton King, but I felt like that would have been the wrong play as well. Just trying to play a bit apprehensive until we figure out what our opponent's going to do. Okay, so we have to Rage up these Bats so we can kill the Archers. And he's going to go Skeletons. That's not going to full counter the Bats. He has to drop a little bit more Elixir. Still not a good spot for us. And he's kind of just spamming WoW as he gets damaged, so he's going to be amazed by the amount of damage that we get with our Elixir Golem. I think that's a little bit of BM. Cheeky, sir. All right, we can go for Skellies here on top of the Elixir Collector. Oh, wait, he's not going to Miner it. I thought he would have Miner for sure. He's celebrating right now. He's like, Jake, I got you. I've got Rocket and I've got Valkyrie, but he doesn't necessarily know what he's playing against, so we can go Skellies in the back. Definitely don't want to eat any more damage here. I'm not going to go Arrows because we know he's going to have Archer, so we want to save that for that. I'm going to go for a Skeleton King in the back, because if I go for Bats with the Skeleton King, we can ramp up a huge aggression, especially if we have a Night Witch behind it. So we're aiming our army directly at our opponent's tower. I feel like this is going to be the push that we needed, especially with arrows like this. If we can hit all of the archers like so, I wonder what Bro is going to do. We can click the Skeleton King ability as well, even though the Valkyrie is going to be able to kill some of the Skeletons, we will have a lot left over. I could arrows plus rage, but obviously that would be a pretty big overextension. 
So strategy here for us is just to go for skeletons against the Valkyrie and then it'll counter it completely with the King Tower um, not being activated. We don't even need the King Tower activated. Um, there's no way he's going to activate it for us, obviously. But I was wondering if there's a way to activate King Tower against the Evolved Valkyrie, like drawing yeah. it close enough so the Tornado ends up hitting your King Tower. There has to be some mechanism of doing that. I was thinking about it, but it was like, uh, probably not worth. All right, Elixir going in the back. This is our big attack. We have our ability to go in for the Night Witch Bats, and we've got the Evolved Bats. Always try to Skeleton King opposite side, so then you can force out the Valkyrie on one side, and then just spam them in the other. So that's what we're gonna try to do here. Also, he goes in for a log, so I wonder what he's gonna do. If we get like uh, double elixir golem in the house, that could be a vibe. To pop the skeleton king ability, we're gonna immediately arrows on top of the archers in the left. I mean, this is just hard. This is really difficult for me to deal with. I'm gonna rage up the elixir golem blobs. The elixir golem on the right is doing some devious damage as well. But what if I just drop another one? I mean, this is relentless elixir golem pressure, my guy. Yo! <laughs> I love that we took out his tower and we still have more spam coming at him. There's no way that Clash Trial intended it to be this strong, right? He was laughing at me. He thought he won at the start when he rocketed my elixir collector. My guy got rocketed out of the game with a three crown express. He might be laughing on the outside, but he is definitely crying on the inside. Those hee hee haws were simply a facade. And the Elixir Golem three crown express is taking us up all the way to 1,300 in the world. The guy just messaged me saying he didn't like my deck. And honestly, you can't even blame him. All right, I feel kind of bad. I matched into him a second time and he is obviously furious. All right, we got to give me this Mr. Miracle. And it would be a miracle if he wasn't running 2.6 hog right after seeing that banner. I mean, look at it. He's literally running a hog rider at the start of the match too. So I've got to go for skeletons and we weren't able to body block that hog rider. It will get one hit on my tower. The cool thing about this is we're able to throw back all that damage back in his face with our skeleton king ability. So I love going in for the bats here as well, just to force out some extra elixir, potentially force a firecracker. Unfortunately, I don't know if the skeleton king gets the ability down. As long as we can cannibalize the knight, I'll be okay. All right, cool. Maybe we get a log out of him too. That'd be awesome. If we get a two elixir investment from our opponent, that would have been too good to be true. You know what? I can arrows on the firecracker because I don't want my Night Witch bats to die and I really don't want that thing to hit my tower. So strategy here, skeletons and go elixir golem because skeletons will defend the hog rider for a plus three trade. And if he's down elixir, we got to start spamming and take advantage of the situation since he doesn't have firecracker. I mean, he can get back to firecracker, but it's not going to be evolved. And I don't even know if he can kill the bats. Please let these bats thrive. There's no way. This guy is so good. That was a really clean defense. With all the Night Witch bats, that's not easy to stop. And he had a perfect log. Every single one of the interactions there went his favor and his mechanics were clean. So I'm gonna try to do some dual lane pressure again. I'm gonna go in for skeletons in the middle and then I'm gonna Elixir Golem. And then I'm gonna probably try to get away with bats on the left-hand side. Reason why we're doing this is because the bats will just skeet past the firecracker and then we can arrows on everything. And then the firecracker is not able to kill the bats and then we can rage this up and possibly win the game. I mean, the deck that we're playing is so disgustingly cheesy that it wouldn't make sense if he was able to defend that one fully. And as you can see, he is taking a whole host of damage. That is what I was thinking would happen the first time. But man, he, uh, he still defended pretty well on the second time too. He used log though, so... I think I can get away with just skeletons and then go elixir collector again. Notice how I'm eating damage calculatively. Like I know what I can and can't eat. I didn't think he was going to have earthquake though. I forgot if he had earthquake or not the first time when I dropped elixir collector, but I don't think he did. Sometimes I'm just so concentrated and dialed in on my pushes that I don't even pay attention there. Anyway, we're in a skeleton king here. We can go in for, ooh, I mean, he'll probably firecracker me, right? I would expect him to firecracker me. So we'd have to like rage and also go in for like an elixir golem. Maybe we can go in for the Elixir Golem here so he doesn't hit everything he wants. And then we can Rage and Arrows. Cool. Very nice. And then we can double Night Witch. I don't know if it's dumb dropping a double Night Witch on the same side. I feel like it can't be that intelligent. There's no way that that's a big brain play. But we are running Elixir Golem, so we still might slay. Arrows coming through. That is a huge play. And it's still not enough damage, but we're getting a lot in the right. Oh, geez. We lose. Yeah, he knows it's over. I got to go Evolve Bats with 15 seconds left. That's the only way I win. I need to be able to break through. And this has to do a tremendous amount of damage. Maybe? If we can get the bats on the tower, there's still a shot, right? Maybe. Just, just give me some damage, bats. Just give me some love. Just a little bit of love. No! <laughs> yeah, it would have been a miracle if we were able to beat someone with a bomb tower that has phenomenal mechanics. 
Very, very close game. And, you know, it didn't happen, but we'll bounce on the next one. You can't win every match with Elixir Gold. And that guy was insanely good at Hog Rider too. He finished 570 in the world, so it makes sense his mechanics were that clean. Being unbelievably close to crushing a top 500 player with a fast cycle bomb tower deck using Elixir Golem is pretty crazy. Just another example of the utter strength of this deck. So this guy's flexing an immense amount of 20 wins in his banner. He's bound to be pretty good at the game. I'm gonna go Skelly's in the back and he's gonna go for Archers. That's a pretty cool card for us to see since obviously we want to be able to arrow that every time we can. And we'll see if the Elixir Golem wants to solo this match. I think that the Elixir Golem probably needs some friends and some support from the Skeleton King and then also the Night Witch. But you never know. Elixir Golem with Rage does a lot of damage. So I'm going to go for bats in the left-hand side, most likely. I'm not going to click the ability. I'm going to just arrows on top of all of the stuff that's congregated in the middle. And then I can rage up our bats so we can finish off the rest of his junk. The cool thing that we have here is we can go for skeletons to body block his little prince and not take any damage unless he wants to click the ability. Oh, and he does. All right, man. So that's kind of a good trade for him because he baits out the skeleton king that I didn't want to drop. I wanted to savor the skeleton king to build up a big push and pair that with my elixir golem. But, you know, maybe we can bait out some extra elixir. If he goes in for a goblin gang or something, or archers, I guess he's over committing with six elixir against four. So, idealistically, it's not that bad for us. I mean, we get a plus two trade there. I'm going to go for elixir collector in the middle, and then I think he'll probably spam at the bridge. <laughs> when we see a recruits player, it's destined to see one thing. Spam every single second. So, I'm going to go for a night witch on the left-hand side, and I'm going to try to go for bats here on the right. Fortunately, there's only one Spear Goblin, so it's not too bad for me. Again, Skeleton King here, and then we can go in for Skeletons as they charge. So we should be able to finish everything off with just a little bit of Skellies. Wait, Skeletons are still alive somehow. Oh my gosh, wait. This push is going to be huge. There's no way he stops this. <laughs> Let's freaking go, man. The skeletons on the right are going to force a Fireball, while the Skeletons on the left are just committing theft. And then we can go for arrows and rage to finish off the rest of his archers, right? I mean, generally not something that I would advise people to do, but I don't want to have too many counter-pushing archers, and getting some damage on the three crown is some nice progress in the right direction. We've snagged two towers, and there's 50 seconds left. He's definitely going to try to go balls to the walls with a recruits push, and if we can defend this, we will win the game. So let's run it. We're going to go for a rage, and then I think we're going to go arrows on the right-hand side because he's definitely going to be able to kill our bats. I need to make sure that I don't lose this. Uh, I think we can go skellies and we're fine. Yeah, so we snagged defenses on both sides rather solidly. And then I might be able to three crown him with this elixir goal. Wait, let me three crown. I want to assert utter dominance against dirty royal recruits. I know royal recruits are my main deck in Clash, but I feel like ever since they got the evolution, they deserve this type of defeat. So, you know, that's the feat that we're going to try to accomplish. We're going to go in for an Elixir Golem, and we're going to pile on with Skeletons, and it doesn't even matter. He is fully focused on defense, and he has to stay there. He's fireballing to retain his pride, but man, you had no shot of winning the game there. <laughs> that was rather filthy. To keep a Royal Recruits player relentlessly on defense for the rest of the match, my man wasn't even able to charge to our side. In the duel of the Toxic Decks, Elixir Golem reeks to a ridiculous degree. It wrecks and has unrivaled offense. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more daily videos, and have an amazing rest of your day.